Here's an explanation of this uh, program where the cat can use this shield power-up to get a shield. So here's how the program works. We, we can move the cat to get the power-up and now he has the shield and the shield over time diminishes and once it's gone, which happens after about 10 seconds, then a new shield power-up appears and he can get another shield. This is just the beginning of what could be a game where maybe um, he's being attacked or something and the shield helps him depending on how strong it is. Uh, and uh, this doesn't have to be a shield, he could pick up anything, some kind of magic ability to cast spells or something. Uh, so let's look at the sprites in the script. So here's the player, here's the power-up, and here's the shield. So those are the three different sprites. So the player, when the game starts, he goes to this position and then he moves with right and left arrow keys. The shield power-up goes to a random position and then shows itself and then waits until the player touches it. When the player touches it, it broadcasts a message called shield and then hides itself and then waits 10 seconds. Then, because it's in a forever loop, it repeats and goes to another random location and shows itself and waits until the player touches it. Okay, let's see what the shield does. I should call this shield. Um, it waits, uh, when the green flag is clicked, it hides itself because the shield's invisible at the beginning. And then forever it does a go to player. And this makes it attached to the player. It stays with the player always, whether it's hidden or not. Uh, let's see how this works. If you look at the costumes and edit, and then say set rotation center. Notice I've indicated that the center of this shield is actually to the left of the shield and that makes it offset to the right. So it's it's anchored or put on uh, a place to the left of itself. So it gets, so if you imagine that what you saw a moment ago that plus sign is right about here in the center of the cat. So that's what makes it not right on the cat. All right, let's go look at these scripts again. Uh, now you remember that this shield power-up broadcasts a message called shield. And when the shield receives the message, it clears graphic effects. You'll see why in a moment. It shows itself. And then it starts this process that uh, it does over 10 times. It waits one second, and then it changes the ghost effect. So you notice it gets dimmer and dimmer over time. That's what does this. Uh, now you see why we clear the graphic effects. That clears the ghost effects. So one more time, let's take a look at it. Here's the cat. We move, it gets the power up. The shield is there. The shield stays with the cat, and the shield diminishes, gets dimmer by using this ghost effect. And once the time has passed, 10 seconds, then the shield power up moves to a random location and then uh, shows itself.